rural development's a very important area. I do think that there may not be enough attention as it deserves, um, given that so much attention is being given to the urban. There's huge in-migration, but where are those people coming from? Some of it's population growth, but about half, if not more, are probably coming from the rural areas. So while half of the population is moving out from the rural areas, I do wonder, are, we, are they being forgotten about? Uh, is too much attention within transport being given to the urban issues? Both are very important. I think if we look at SDG 9.1.1 and two kilometres to an all-season road, I think that then gives us some emphasis to put it back on to the rural accessibility. And they're all inextricably linked. We can't have cities functioning or economies functioning if they're not feeding themselves and that agricultural produce comes from the rural areas. If the population's not not connected or the farm produce can't get to the roads, it's rotting in the fields or rotting in the roads, we need to look at um, how that rural access is provided. Well, a rural access index, you know, is one of the key indicators for rural accessibility of roads. And in Bangladesh, there were approximately 350,000 kilometers of rural roads, which are uh, instrumental in the, the socio-economic development of the country. These roads uh, are not only reducing the travel time and cost, but also they're uh, giving access the access to essential services to the remote rural people. Uh, for example, now a farmer, he can ensure that this product will uh, reach to the local market and eventually to the urban big market before operation. The rural transport is as important as urban transport. Uh, and uh, rural and urban transport should be developed simultaneously. Uh, in the context of Nepal, uh, it is unique nature because uh, Nepal is hill. Um, the, most of the area are in hill region, uh, and the settlement are more scattered from the valley to hill top. So we have several, uh, different challenges uh, in rural road sector, uh, and. Um, the uh, rural uh, population is very high. Even uh, uh, our country has uh, declared urban uh, region, but even urban regions are uh, more rural in nature. So, rural uh, importance of rural road is very high, and basically we need rural roads for uh, social uh, development, for health, education, and more for connectivity and eco economic activities also. So uh, rural transport uh, is actually a very important component for Habitat uh, Nepal and it comes under the water and infrastructure uh, component of the current uh, country strategy right now. So the focus really is on uh, equity, on social inclusion, on uh, quality assurance, uh, but also sustainability and these are the areas that Habitat focuses on. And uh, primarily this is done through the Trail Bridge uh, project that it has right now and this is a very unique project it's actually started in the 1970s but it's still ongoing and uh, through these years uh, many like evolutions and uh, developments have taken place uh, most uh, you know important in the sense is that before it was the swiss engineers who were actually coming to nepal and building these bridges designing them but now after all these years it's actually the nepalese engineers as well as consultants contractors who are responsible and um, you know, implementing the bridges themselves So recap's really vital to the Leave No One Behind agenda in the um, SDGs. Um, uh, rural access will bring about um, poverty reduction um, through low-cost solutions, um, looking at infrastructure, engineering, transport service provision. And because we work in 17 countries in Africa and Asia, in partnership with country uh, implementing agencies, it means that we can really get um, ownership of the, the solutions and the outcomes of the research um, and um, we, we're working in partnership with other initiatives like the Sunfall uh, initiative um, and
and um, more broadly within the SDGs, um, working on the Rural Access Index, which is uh, indicator 9.1.1. And um, we're committed to the Vien Tian Declaration on Sustainable Rural Transport, which was uh, signed up to by uh, all EST countries in 2017. We can't achieve any degree of sustainable transport without addressing both the rural and the urban transport. And in order to make sure that no one is left behind, a critical thread that passes through all the SDGs, uh, we can't also leave behind the rural transport. Rural accessibility, rural connectivity is central to achieve rural livelihood security, rural empowerment of the communities and also the rural economic growth. In my country, Bangladesh, our girls' students are face different types of problems when they go to school. Uh, but nowadays, our uh, government provides our girls' students uh, in uh, they can go safely in their school by bicycle and they are nowadays they are using bicycles uh, to reach school so that they can uh, go school safely they can uh, study more and um, these girls are uh, collectively uh, working as a social worker against a child marriage and uh, they are very confident when a student girls student uh, ride bike she becomes more confident and she uh, conscious about herself conscious about the social issues and uh, she is uh, uh, acting as a volunteer against the child marriage in 2015 the global community with more than 190 countries agreed on sustainable development goals. Transport is absolutely crucial to achieve the sustainable development goal. They are linked to a wide range of issues, from road safety to gender equality to rural accessibility to sustainable cities. The RECAP program has a particular value of improving the issue of, of rural communities and increasing the accessibility of the rural people and the rural communities. And the sister program, the high volume transport program funded by, by DFID, looking into the high volume transport, so the urban issues. But there are a lot of workers that can be done together in terms of research into action, in terms of creating knowledge products, as well as policy guidance. So it's important also to bring us this knowledge also together on issues like gender, on issues like road safety, on air pollution, on our accessibility or so to improve or so the situation for all people in rural as well as in urban communities. And this rural accessibility is uh, playing a significant role in the development of the country. And you know that uh, in Bangladesh we have a higher values of RA compared to uh, other neighbor countries. So now we are focusing for the maintenance of this huge asset. Because it's important that you not only connect, you provide the people a desired level of service. And for that, are trying to maintain that the roads are built as per uh, specification to the adequate size and uh, maintaining their perfect quality. So now our focus or we think uh, is to uh, now our focus is asset management and we are thinking to get involved or manage the assets more properly with uh, following the standard procedures. Basically, uh, rural roads uh, are uh, 
are in uh, the um, are in bad condition compared to other roads urban roads so we have to develop uh, these roads because the pavement is not good uh, we have to equally consider the traffic safety part uh, so um, we have to develop connectivity of rural area uh, in parallel to urban area uh, and uh, the problem of Nepal is I, uh, I said earlier unique in nature uh, to other nations because the settlement is scattered and we have to uh, provide roads for every settlement uh, so that is uh, our major challenge. ADB has just approved a new strategy, Strategy 2030, which will set out how we look at providing our support to the developing member countries across Asia and the Pacific. It has seven focus areas, one of those is rural connectivity and food security. So I hope this will change the way we incorporate the difference of the various components, the irrigation on the water supply to improve agricultural production, but also the transport connectivity. There's no point producing stuff if it doesn't get to the market. So I hope, and I think with the support we can give to governments based around that regional, connect, sorry, rural connectivity really will allow us to do things differently. Put in those roads, put in the irrigation, increase productivity and connectivity.